Sierra November is ready at holding point Alpha 8, runway 29 to right for an upwind departure. It is your November Bank Standard, flat upwind, runway right cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway right, and you see November. Echo Yankee Delta, choppers north. Echo Yankee Delta, join report base for the main pad. Report base for the main pad, Echo Yankee Delta. Uh, Zulu Zulu Tango, can we amend our clearance to not above 100 feet? Tango, Roger, approach not above 100 feet. Not above 100, Zulu Zulu Tango. Good. Green, green, green. Airspeed. Sierra Inform Alpha, follow a helicopter past Chopper Snother, tracking for base. Uh, Sierra Uniform Alpha, say again, please. Number two for the main bed, follow a helicopter on LA base uh, past uh, Chopper's North. Uh, cleared for stop and go on the main pad following helicopter coming in from Chopper's North, the area from Alpha. And from Alpha, negative, you are not cleared yet. You are number two, follow the helicopter on LA base. Uh, number two, follow the helicopter on base, the area from Alpha. Alpha, uh, Victor, downwind touch and go. Uh, Victor, Victor, on your left, get touch and go. On your left, three touch and go. Yankee Delta on base for main pad. Echo Yankee Delta, main pad, clear to land. Main pad, clear to land. Echo Yankee Delta. That's no excuse, though. I, I thought you might say that. Thanks, Antel, Uniform, Emma, Uniform, Diamond. A bit of haze. Oh, that's a fog that's burnt off. Is that what it is? Okay. okay. Uniform number, Uniform Bank Center, depart up in runway right cleared for takeoff. Run right cleared for takeoff. You get the same thing with my out burns off. You get this haze. Okay. It's the remnants. There's a fog factory over there. Charlie, right, okay. Oh, yeah, wow, look at that. Richmond, the fog factory. Good morning, Zulu India Kilo is ready at holding point Alpha 8 for a visual departure. Zulu India Kilo, Bank Sun Tower, runway right, line up. Line up, runway right, Zulu India Kilo. Diamond upwind is departing upwind. Maintain the upwind leg until advised. Port passing 2000. Runway right, cleared for takeoff. Cover the traffic, we'll maintain upwind to advise and uh, clear for takeoff. Don't do it right in a oh, okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, because it tilts, yeah, right. You've got an acceleration error when you're climbing and descending. Yep. You can only set it in level flight. Yep, thank you. Level. Theory, you know, Don't accelerate like flight or decelerating flight. Okay. Sure, inform Alpha, main pad, cleared, stop and go. Main pad, clear, clear, stop and go. Theory, uniform Alpha. Yeah, it's awful up there, isn't it? Yeah. Fox Brisky Charlie, run right left, get touch and go. Oh, damn it, thank you. Alright, taking over. Okay. Get your uh, whack chart out. Okay. Not that one.
Department of Education. Department of Education. Department of Education. Department Camden, sorry. I'll show you. Second, I'll just re trim this a little bit more. Pull this power back a little bit more. Okay. This is an AKL and Ilfe that requirement. This frequency contact is what I made it. Yep. Okay. So go for Bryn Jelly. Get it. Hampton from Bryn Jelly. Where the hell is Bryn Jelly? Uh, should be. There it is. Thank you. Thanks, downtown. Good morning, C Ray Tango. Sorry. See the departure of the Zulu and the Akilo passing 1,800, climbing 3,000, direct head on visual. Alright, and that the Akilo is so going to fire to climb to 5,000 and uh, expedite. 10, 20, 30. I, guess I make that about 41 miles probably. It's just a halfway mark. Oh, yeah, halfway mark, thank you. Did you see that aircraft down the mark. south of okay. the track? So, uh... Hampton. Distance 41, I said. What heading are you going to use? What heading am I going to use? Um, let's say that track is about uh, 40 degrees above west, above west, so 310 minus... Okay, about 300. Much. We'll go uh, 290. 290, okay. Okay. What's after that? Okay, compass log, so what we've got to do is height. What height are you going to go at? Oh, yeah. Do that first, okay. Uh, is Hampton on the VTC or have I, do I need to... Okay. So. 216, safety alert, that chunk. But we can't get up to about 4,500 until we've got past the dam. We're going even plus 500, so we can go up to 6.5. 6.5, yeah. 6.5, alright. Okay. Alright, so now. ETA. And frequencies. What frequencies are you Oh, frequencies, yeah. I believe it's Sydney Centre all the way there. No, there's a boundary here. Let's say halfway or two thirds. There's a boundary, and we go to uh, one three two five. Uh, one three five two five. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Right. Traffic in your one o'clock. Uh, one three five two five. Two five. Uh, say two thirds. Okay, so clear right. Right. clear right. Centre clear right. So we're over Bridge Early right now. No okay. good time. What time uh, have you got? I have uh, four seven. Okay, that's consistent with me. So I said actual time of departure four seven, and we three minutes for Bankstown. Yeah. Four four there. For the fuel. Okay, number one. Clear off. Oh yep. So we're going on the two nine zero heading. Two nine. Yep. So. We're look at the compass and DI relationship. Yeah, I'm not traffic. What is the same sample of the traffic in your three or five months? Yeah, looking, it's pretty easy, we can't say much. Okay, they're passing behind you now, yeah, Pilot 216. Yeah. Um, your identification is terminated. Uh, uh, approaching to our engine, Bank Town Tower 132 decimal 8. 1328, approach to our Compass is done. Log. So, 4 7. So, distance 41. That's going to be 20 minutes. And our halfway mark going to be 10. Okay, so 07 for. 20 there. Oh, sorry. 20 there. 2010. Zero, zero. Oh, I see what yeah. you mean. Yeah. Uh, uh, so now 4 7 plus 20. Zero. Is zero 07. Yeah. Okay, and then. Oh, no, we don't do that yet. Okay, compass log's done. Yep. Engine and altitude. Well, we're two and a half. Yep. We'll climb Just shortly. Right. Yep. Radios 12455, 13525 can go on yep. standby. Yep. Traffic there. 
Okay, now look at your VTC, are we going the right way? Zulu okay, in yes. the uh, kilo, climb to 8,000. 8,000 uh, kilo, kilo. Alright, so, uh, Rigelli to Hampton. Um, now on the way out, look at your whack chart, where the line you drew. Yep. Okay. okay. Hold it the way we're going. Yep. Okay, so we expect the, base, the, yeah, the, the water should be over there, which it is. Uh, on, what else am I looking for? Maybe the, pre, the highway over there? Yeah, so it curves off to the right? Perfect, yeah. Uh, and there's a major intersection there that must be Ludnum? Yep, so okay. we're generally going the right way. Generally. The Gamba Dam is to our left, yep. and it should be just like to our left. Yep, okay. Alright. So, good orientation is done. Fuel. Yep. Fuel. The time is 4-4. Four, four. Yep. We have a 30 minute split, so... 4-4-1-4, four, four, four. I already wrote it down. Okay, good. And now future times, so you've got 10 minutes on yep. top of 4-7. Seven. So 5-7, five, seven, five, we seven should be at the halfway yep. point. 5-7. Okay. You're climbing to 6-5. We'll go to 4.5 initially. We'll see where the step is and then we'll go onwards. Uh, we did the clear-off cycle, so there you go. Okay. Uh, you, you want to dive into certain elements like fuel and all that, and future times. Do it as per the protocol. Okay. Sorry, I did it too early. Now, uh, for the original fuel, do I want to put 118 or for or 125? Because it, it would have said 125 on the... Yeah, 125. Whatever 125. you put in is where you start from. All right. So we should be above the 118 line throughout the line. Yep. So 125 is about here. Okay. Now are you going to give me the other destinations, or not till we get not till we get to Hampton? Correct. Okay. All right, handing over. All right, we're climbing to four or five. We said and, and holding uh, two nine. There you go. Who says you can't fly plane in in flight? Wow. So you can see the fog factory. How big it is. Yeah. So we are currently at uh, three seven. Yeah, the four and a half thousand foot step is really west of Warragamba. Oh, okay. Yep. And it's pretty much at this tributary here where the. All right. So don't go above four or five now. Yeah, for the moment right. we'll level off, and then we'll. Well, once we get to four and a half, we'll level off because we'll be just shy of that river Victor, 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 Passing 2,900, Chris, flight level 140. And we didn't compensate for the climb in the uh, uh, ETA. Uh, no, we want to make errors. Okay. <laughs> so you do your math. I see. I'm happy with that. Is this the tributary you're talking about? Yeah, that's the river. The river. I've never been out here, I don't know what it looks like. It's really a big the call approach in the box, one point is one There should be one squiggling along out here. That goes off at an Yeah, I see a squiggling one there. I should come and join this one. Yeah, we're just shy of it by about a mile. Have you got the marker over there? I'll have a look. I forgot to check before we left. All right, if you don't. Thank you. Seven sixty six climbing five two eight zero. Check that seven sixty six to punch. I'm not holding my heading. Huh. Nice. Brazil, Nikola, stepping up underneath the following jet traffic. Uh, expect uh, delay for further climb. Nikola, copy. 
Okay, so we sh should we climb again? Yep, we can start climbing. Okay. And it is almost time to check the map. Hello, climb to yeah. 10,000. 10,000, see there. We should be just opposite where the road turns 90 degrees to our right. We should have the timber about 5 miles in our 1 o'clock. We should be opposite Hazelbrook, which is a reasonable settlement where the road turns 90 degrees. And we should have this big lake here. Yep, to our left, and the trip should be coming up underneath us. Okay, so let's look for the big one first. Uh, I guess the big lake is where all the trees are there, but it's not actually filled in at the moment? No, it's this one. Yeah. Say it comes up. Oh, uh, okay. So we're, we're a bit off course. Yeah, we're a little bit. Yeah. We're going to be right over Hazelwood by the time. Anyway. So, we're in the four park, but a bit to the right. That's okay. Alright, so where would you say we should pinpoint? Well, we've got another minute to run. Oh, sorry. Yep. Patience. Patience. There. Yeah, okay, I do see the road now, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Out wide, it comes back, it's coming towards us. And the nose is actually hiding the road turning okay. and going that way because there's no road over here. And we're going to be late because we've been climbing. We're yep. going to be late about a minute. Now we've climbed uh, probably four, we will have climbed 4,000 feet, so we expect about two minutes, right? Well, we've done it in seconds. Do any kilo okay. flight level 140. But it, it is 30 seconds per thousand, is the rule, right? Correct. Okay. Hanging a 90 degree turn. Okay. What do you see? There's a 90 degree turn. There's a big place, small place. Small place. So we should say so that's Hazelwood there on the corner. Oh, so that's, uh, sorry, Hazelwood you said? Hazelbrook. Oh, Hazelbrook, sorry. That's Hazelbrook there, there's the big turn at Hazelbrook, yeah. Okay, so we are, I would say, somewhere around here? Yep. Okay. We're actually right over the top of Hazelbrook. Oh, you reckon? Yep. Okay. Right there. How far off track are we? Uh... Five miles? How far have we traveled? Twenty. Uh, uh, yeah, twenty miles. So five and twenty is fifteen and sixty. Yep. Um, so we want to uh, turn... Ah, shit. Okay. So fifteen plus another half. Twenty-two and a half left. Is that right? They call it twenty-three left. Yeah. Okay. So heading to should be... Uh, 287267. Okay, so we're quite far to the right. Alright, uh, so we're doing the compass. You're turning to 267. Okay, what we got? We got two, five, five zero. Yeah. Two, five. Okay, put it to two, five. Traffic in the Wollongong and City Beach area hotel up for is four minutes to parachute drops over Flagstaff Point. 
Expect eight parachutes from at flight level. Okay, 265, that's easier. Area. Okay, 265. And, uh, got to put the time on here. 57. Okay, so how were we in terms of our timing? But early, late? Oh, well I didn't actually check the time when we were over at Hazelbrook. That, that was dumb. Uh, I think we were a little, we were late, but I don't know how much. I wrote 5-7, which is what time we were supposed to check, but I don't know what time it was. Yeah, did you, did a, you? What is 5-7? Alright, 5-7 then. When you do a pinpoint, always put a time next to it. Yeah, well, check that. I did put a time, but I, uh, I didn't check. On the map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's a pinpoint. Okay. 790 contact Melbourne Centre 133, that's 45. So ETA 2 should be the same because uh, we said we were on time. Um, we'll have to switch frequency soonish. Oh, but engine first. Engine looks good. You are leaning now. Yeah, I'll just lean until we get 35. Now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, orientation. Well, there's a big basin. Sorry, we should be doing map to ground, hey. We should be going pretty much over Katoomba. Okay. Well, and, and we are over Katoomba. <laughs> yeah. It is Katoomba airstrip over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Where is that on here? Oh, there it is. Yep. Okay. Alright, and it's off to our right as we expect. Yeah, right. Uh, fuel, it's not time yet. Future times, I've already written down. Should not have. Rex 1, okay. 67, now 5 miles south east morning, passing 6,100, climb flight 130, Omega at I will climb a little bit to get us back to 65. 67, identified, clear to Sydney via Omega flight planned route, at L7 arrival, climb to flight of 130. Clear to Sydney via Omega flight planned route, at L7 arrival, flight When you're going out this way, you don't want to be uh, north of that. That is that right? Aerodrome and that point that we were at. Okay, the, uh, because, because of the airspace. Richmond Okay, control. yeah. Alright, so we want to start looking at the map at 05. Melbourne Center, Juliet Romeo Tango. Juliet Romeo Tango. Which is soon. Juliet Romeo Tango, what is Charlie's Far Fox at present position? Their distance from you is now 7 miles in your 11 o'clock or 11.30. Looking for traffic, Julia Romeo Tango. On present headings, they'll be passing down your left-hand side in one and a half minutes. Julia Romeo Tango. Yeah. Got a little place here, another place there. And that third place in the distance there is Mount Victoria. Which one? The first, see the big one there underneath the wing? Oh yeah. There's another small one beyond down the road. The, yeah, that's Mount Victoria. Okay. That's one of the critical places on the uh, on the weather. Yep. Five hundred, seven thousand five hundred, two miles either side of track for two minutes. Up there where the smoke's coming out. That's Lipco. Uh, calling center. That's right, sorry. Lipco. And say again. Still at Ramat Tengo. We've got the traffic uh, sighted and request any additional for air work, present position, between a block 6,500, 7,500, two miles either side of track for two minutes. Sure, I'm going to take a note of what I find traffic, uh, uh, 6,500, You can see the horizon over there, just where the smoke, the cloud is. 
It sort of ramps up a fair bit. Yeah. Okay. That's where orange is. So uh, where, where the, the ridge is. Yeah, where the ridge is. If you just aim to the right hand side of it, you'll get okay. the orange. That's using the big picture. Okay, yeah. We're coming up to 05, just start looking at the map. What should you see on the map? And don't look outside, look at the map. We should have number one, big right. feature. Uh, yeah, well there's Lithgo. L Lithgo should be off to the right. Oh, look at the spot height, 4475. Oh yeah, okay, so there should be something high to our left. And what else has Hampton got? Uh, wind farms, yep. Yeah. Okay, wind farms a good feature, hey. And it's got a road going north-south. And there's a road forking off at the town. There's a road forking off north okay. of the town. There should be a fork in the road with a wind farm between it. And we should have a river underneath it. Uh, oh, it's oh, underneath us. Coming yeah. into it. Yeah. There's a river going beyond the town. Okay. All right, so now look at the big features. Let's go. Well, there's a wind farm. High. Big spot height. See that one there? Big spot height there, yep. And the, uh, oh, but the spot height should be uh, to the... Uh, this way to the left of the wind farm, right? Yeah. So it's that, it, uh, maybe that one. Yeah. Uh, we expect the forking road where the wind farm is. Um, Lithgow, you said, is over there. It looks like a long way off, though. It looked closer on the map. Yeah. But anyway, to confirm it, we need three reasons. That's one. The wind farm's two. And if we've got the road system that's on the map, that's three. Okay. So should I should I steer for the wind farm then? Here's the heading that you've got currently. Yep. We want to see how close our heading gives us. Okay. Now hold your height. Yep. And you'll be passing them in about two minutes if you're uh, in a right-hand turn. I lost my height while I was looking at the map. Uh, yeah, you look over the nose. What? What's that? Everyone looks over the nose and oh. it down as I a see. consequence. This is just to prove to you that if you work out a 1 in 6 in a time correction, we should get there on time. It's gone zero six, 6 so we're about a minute away. Yep. So it's working okay for time. Yep. Sydney information has changed to Delta. Juliet right. Romeo Tango, airwork complete. Um, requesting traffic. Alright, so there's a wind farm. Uh, I'm looking for the 14 roads. Here's one going into town. I don't know how big. Oh, uh, there's one leaving town. I suppose maybe that's one. Yeah. And there must be another one going that way. Juliet Romeo Tango. Oh no. Well, the one going into town, which one is that? I can see two. But it says there's one going into town on about our track. Say here. Is that that one? No, that one there. And there's one forking there as well. Oh, forking there off to, okay. Yeah. So you got one, two, three rows. This road joins onto this one here. And then this one moves out over here. So okay, yeah, okay. India Sierra Sierra, contact centre now, 133 days. Oh, and there's a go up to the right, yeah. yeah. So, we say that's Hampton. Yep. Okay. Whole station so, should I turn and fly over it, get a time? Uh, give me a whack. Okay. So, we want to go from Hampton to... Find it. To Penrose. 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 Next okay. to Bundanoo. And you see, we were only about pretty close, 800 metres off it. Okay, that's pretty good. Hey, yeah. good enough. 
with this visibility anyway. Well, it actually it's better because if you're off track, you can actually see your destination. If it's on, if you're dead on track, the nose obscures. Oh yeah, of course, that makes sense, yeah. All right, so I got a line. I'm looking for a distance. Well, that's 65, so thirds would be about 21. So contact center 133 decimal 5. 133 decimal 5, killing 41 dollars. Okay. Good day. What heading would you see? 167 contact center now on 129. I forget what I said, 65. What heading would I steer? Uh, Rex 167. All right, I would say that's about um, 20 degrees short of south. So 16 minus. Would you say that's about 20 degrees or? Uh, oh no, it's more. It's less than that. Maybe 10 degrees. So uh, 15 minus uh, minus 13. Call it 14. What do you think? I'd say go for 170. You think 170? Oh shit! I subtracted wrong. Okay, 18 minus 10. I would have said uh, 16, but you think 17. 170. Okay. Hey Sam, Delta Victor Hotel. All right, 170. So let's turn to 170. Put it on high traffic. Uh, yeah. 100 degrees Delta left. Victor. Now we're going to want an odd altitude. Should I start correcting for that now, or wait till uh, wait till we finish turning and doing the compass? Yeah, we'll go back to the town first, because that's where you drew your line from. Okay. All right. Let's get back to the town then. Sounds yeah. good. Otherwise, you'll give yourself an automatic track error by that much. Yeah, well, that's what I was wondering. Okay, so you think plan and then circle back. Yeah, okay. When you get really good, you'll turn and do the planning at the same time. Yeah, well, I'm not that good yet, eh? Is that something I can expect to be good enough to do? Yeah. Okay. This is the first time you're doing it, so I can't expect too much. Yeah, right. So once we get over here, basically the wind bar, we'll set course. Okay. 170, do the compass, do the log, engine, and when the altitude comes up, then we'll worry about it. Okay, alright, fair enough. 25. Well, since we're going to the east, it's odds plus 5. So yeah. we're at 6.5, so we're not going to go to 7.5, we'll go yeah, to 5.5. Five 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 and and right. So you can write that in. Can you write the Tango contact centre now, 124 decimal 1. One, two, four, Whilst we're waiting, you got 65. How much time is that going to be? Uh, it should be uh, 32 and a half, call it 33. Oh, 33. And then 11. Yep. Good. Pelican 32, first time, follow 22. All right. I think we're about overhead. Pelican 282 will advise. Should I, raise, should I turn the wing and see? Yeah, you can drop the wing and see. I guess it's that cluster of houses there. Yep. Okay. Okay, so note your time. Alright, call that uh, 1 2. Request code and traffic, please. Turn on the heading. Alright, 170, we said. Kilo Alpha Oscar, squawk code 3655. There's no ported IFR traffic, but there is some VFR traffic in the area. There's one overhead, 4400, indicating uniform November Victor. Another one five miles southeast of Bathurst, indicating Charlie Papa Fox, and unverified, 4500. Squawk 55, copy uniform mode, One six, yeah. India Kilo, can you just confirm your airwork details for Bathurst? Okay. So we're going to be at 135. 170, alright, good. Top of the time, log. Alright, so 1, 2, plus our interval of 3, 3. Plus 3, 3 is 4, 5. Yep. ETA 1. 
Okay, well we're gonna do it. We want to make sure rich because we're descending, right? Yep. Green, green, green. Final 246, Scorpio right. 1543. Uh, altitude, descending now. Right. 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 Radios, what frequency should we be on? I, yes, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, I think we're outside of the BTC now, aren't we? Where the hell is my BNC gone? You have it? Thank you. Uh, where are we? Zulu India Kilo, you are cleared to operate within one five mile radius of the So I, we're going to cross this boundary at some point. Copy up some Sorry. Thank you. I am not good at speed map reading. Are you sure 5.5 is not too low? That's true, alright. I guess it'll be 1,000 feet AGL, won't it? Five 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 and this one out here? We're going down here? Okay, so, uh, sorry, let me aviate. Navigate. So we should be going, uh, there's Hampton, we're going over this boundary soon, that will be to, uh, is it this one? 127.7? No, that's Iris. Oh, that's, oh, yes, you're right, it's the big ones, the bold ones. Yeah, he's still going to be on the end. Uh, 124.1 then. There you go. Yep. And then, uh, sorry, where, uh, where, where's Penrose? Penrose, alright, so eventually we're going to cross into this one, aren't we? Which is, uh, 121.2. So we should probably be on 127.7 seven now, right? Deep and then point. eventually one we're going to want to be on 121.2, one one two one two. maybe uh, after the zero, second third. Zero, zero. Two, two, zero. Doing the aerial origami that you zero, warned me about. Jetstar 746, contact, center 125. Now, we were supposed to have done fuel a couple minutes ago. Alright, you can do it. Right, well, I guess we'll get there soon. We'll get there soon. Orientation, yeah, thank you. So, your line on the map, what should we see as we're departing? Uh, on the water off to the left, we should be on the high ground. Yep, uh, over on to the right. So, uh, water should be over there, high ground, definitely in front of us. Sorry, where's Oberon? Back there. Yep. Okay, so that's that looks good. We're going right way. Um, fuel. Fu fuel. All right, let's do fuel. Remaining 9-6. We're a little bit past uh, 30 minutes. Oh, yes, we, we need to lean as well, don't we? Otherwise, we'll have on it up. Yep. So you do that after you're done descending, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, future time, so we plus 11, plus 11. Um, so our ATD... Who's flying this plane anyway? You are. Um, <laughs> our, our ATD was 4.5, four, four, so that's 5.6 here. And 07 here. Uh, what have I forgotten? No, that's it. Right. So, we've got to look at the next point at 5-1. Sorry, 5-6. Oh, that's now. Six, seven, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Did I do this wrong? Yeah. I have to work out 5-6. We departed at um, 1. Oh shit, the actual time of departure was 1-2. One, one, oh, sorry, I totally messed that up. Yeah. Alright. 2-3. Three. 3-4. Three, four. Four or five, yeah, that, that uh, tracks. That works. Yep. Not the greatest place to check the compass. You did want errors. Oh, you're going to get them all right, don't you worry. We had one on the, on the way up, and you saw how we dealt with that. Yep. So the same deal here, except we got third. Six. Now, 
We lose the engine here, where do you land? Can we make that? Yeah. What if we had lost it two minutes ago? Over there. Can we make that? Yeah. Really? Yep. Okay. As soon as the engine does fail, you zoom behind. You yeah, right. You another 400 yep. feet, and you'll make that little valley. Okay. Now, that's probably not true everywhere around here, that there's some valley. What's the worst case? You try to that low speed into the canopy? Uh, I would try to do that. I mean, like, if you have nothing, what do you do? Well, that's all. Go down the ravine, lay in the water. Yeah, water, okay. GMAC, uh, we got a prison on HF, primary 13261, secondary 886720, velocity 1667. There is an ALA out here, it's a bit further up. Okay. This is like marshy land here, isn't it? Oh, it's not too wet, it's just dry. It's oh, over there is, but there's, I, I think there's a wet bit here, maybe you can't see it. Maybe I'm misreading. Oh, uh, maybe not, yeah. But I'll try to hold my height better. All these trees are growing out of a rock. All this area okay. here is, yeah, it's all granite and sandstone. Turning into trees. The next time is 2-3. Well, what should you see at time 2-3? Okay, at time 2-3, well again, I should see all the water off to the left. Yep. Uh, we should be near a road, which should have a curve to the to the left, uh, forward and to our right. Um, then we should be near like a little river. Uh, is there anything large besides that? There's high ground over here, 422. Um, maybe we could see, no, I'll probably not see the prison there. What am, what am I missing? much close to that road there, and yeah, the big ravine, you will yeah. see that ravine, and that's a 180 degree. Yeah, that, that should be, we should see that curving see ramp. the ground? Yeah, so that must be that, right? Yeah, so we're getting close to that, okay, and also there should be a road that goes off. Off to, yeah, it follows around, it looks like some sort of lookout, so we should start seeing that road coming in. Yep. I can see a road going for the trees over there. I do see a road down here. Um, yeah. We'll just wait till we get to the ravine. Yep. If this is the one we're at, it should double back, so he's got a 180 meander and it goes to another river, which is running north-south to the right. Wait, hang on a second, well, shouldn't we be here? Yeah, I'm so yeah, sorry what I'm saying. Oh. I'm oh, here. I'm going at the wrong place. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't see the road. Maybe that's it there. This is probably the 180 in the river, right? Yep. Is that the road, you reckon? Yeah, it's going off to the left, which it should be. Uh, sorry, where are we? Yeah. Well, it seems to end there. Shouldn't it be on the other side of the river? Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's... Uh, 
There's a bunch of cleared land off to the right there. You see here what's happening? You got a fairly decent yeah. meander. One, two. Do you reckon that sorry is uh, this feature here? Is that what you're saying? Well, we've got a big ravine. It's coming around. It does a 180, 180. Oh, is, oh, you reckon that's that one? We're off to the left, not the right. Is that what you're saying? I don't see the road, but uh, maybe I couldn't from here. Um, well, if that is true, then we should be over here somewhere, so we should be able to see... Oh, I don't know. Uh, the big ravine, uh, the, the big lake over there. Or... Two more rivers like this, with... Uh, Yeah, I don't know in this terrain. It's not easy. Um, okay. So time I think, now. I is think I need your help. Yeah. One, two, five. Two, five. So actually, probably past that little point. Yeah. Because the wind's up our bump. Remember? Is it? Yeah. So we're probably going a bit quicker, and I can tell where the airplane's going a bit quicker as well. Yeah. So we've got a, a ravine running down that way. It's basically crossing us. So. Which one do you think that is? Well. I think it's that one, maybe? Yeah, I think it's probably closer to that one there. Yeah. Okay. Is there any way we can confirm that? Yeah, I'd say it's that one there, based upon the lake. We're, we should be past this big perimeter in the lake. If we're at this point here, we should see this big body of water. Yep. And you can see, the lake there is spinning off into a creek, so we're... Yeah, there's the main drag there off the wingtip, see it? Underneath but, the bog. Okay, yeah. Yep, so, because we've got that rip, river basically running straight across. So from that point of view, we've just passed there. Okay. Now we're coming up to Tomac Creek. So that little shithole. Yeah, oh, Tomac Creek, yeah. You think that's that? Yeah. I'd say it's that. Okay. It's a clearing, it's actually an ALA. Okay. And that's pretty much where we should be when you think about it. Okay, now that it's uh, 2 6. Yeah, so we pass that. Okay. Alright. So what do we do in this case? We put a pinpoint pin there. Pinpoint your distance off. When we get a beam it. How, how many miles do you think that is? Yeah, that's about three miles. So should I put it on here now or wait till we get a beam? Wait till we get a beam. Okay. And no, the time. Yep, I will. Can there be an unreported off our traffic system? You, you reckon three miles to the right? Yeah. That's on that creek. It's about that much. Maybe here, oh, sorry, maybe here? Yeah. Okay, and the time is uh, two, eight. All right, shit, sorry. So, we're three off in, uh, call it 30? Three and 30, so uh, 
Uh, yeah, so it should be six, six degrees to the left. It's about the halfway point, so we should call it the halfway point, so it should be 12 degrees to the left. Yeah. So, uh, one, five, eight. There you go. Which, I am not far off. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know how to correct for this because... Well, well how, what time did you put there? Three, uh, three, four. Okay, we departed at time one, two. Yeah. Okay, subtract. So but are we saying this is the two-thirds point or the halfway, oh, the halfway point? Okay, so just, yeah. All right, so we made uh, 16, uh, 16 minutes to the halfway point, so it should be 32 minutes to the total, uh, to the end. So, uh, uh, four, four. Yeah, so it's still going to be within a minute, so we'll leave it at that. Okay. Okay, compass lock done, engine and altitude. Yep. Clean, green. We're down 36 litres an hour, you're on heading. Um, okay. Radio. Altitude, radio, uh, we still want to be here, I believe. You set this for the next one later. Um, uh, okay, that's R, O is orientation. Well, if that was Tomac Creek, it was off to our left as we expect. Uh, ahead of us, we should see. Sorry, where am I? New Zealand 864, flight level 390. New Zealand 864, my good day. Okay. Uh, ahead of us, well, way off in the distance, we should see Moss Vale and Civilization there. We should see a road crossing our path, uh, crossing our path uh, ahead of us, uh, coming in from the right. Yeah. We should see Wallandilly River yep. ahead of us, so let's see. Um, where's that road? Maybe, where's the river? Where's the river? Well, it might be uh, beyond that ridge in front of us. I would say. Yeah, that's fair enough. What does the river do? The river turns this way. Yeah, so you can see there. You think that's... Oh, you think it's we're going over it now? Yeah. Okay. But well, if that's the case, then the, the road should just be beyond that. Maybe it's that one going along there? Yeah. I don't know how big this road is. It doesn't look big. Okay. Yeah, the secondary road. Okay. All right, we're going the right way. Orientation fuel. Uh, fuel is not time yet. 3-1. We want 4-4. Four, four. And future times, uh, I don't know how to correct for this one. It was within one minute to the destination, so let's still say it's 3-4. So we're, and we're almost there, so. That's right, we did the, we did the time correcting at the half. Oh, we did the half point, okay. All right, sure. sure. Fair enough. So then we still expect uh, about 4-5, uh, which is about when we need to do fuel as well. Traffic inbound from the north, shortly on descent is Juliet X-ray Victor, Cessna 182, they will be circuited about time uh, 4-3. Copy, Juliet X-ray Victor and 3234, Rick 718. And Juliet 
extra vehicular traffic for you, Rex 718. He's taxiing there at Kuma, planning for Marimula at 7,000. about 160. So go back to 155, that's a better one to use. Okay. The wind is blowing us that way. Is it? Okay. Traffic bar five mile final. Melbourne information with you. Runway there. Where? To the grass runway. Oh yeah. I've got a hangar near the trees. You'll come across a lot of runways around here. They're just grass areas, but if you need to use them, you need to use them. Yep.
Center, exit 18, three miles. To the east of Pima, past 6,200 on climb. 7,000, maybe that's on fly four. Rex 718, thanks for QNH's 1026. 1026, Rex 718. Should we change our QNH to match that? Uh, we got the actual QNH, let's go right. That's further down there, that's near Kuba. I'm sorry? Near Kuba. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, we've got the QNH for Bankstown. Does it vary enough to matter, to worry? Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter when you can see the ground, just fine. Yeah, that's the area of Q&H for his area, not ours. Ah, okay, sorry. On the area forecast, you've got the Q&H's for the areas, and it gives you sometimes some divisions. Oh, right, yeah. So, especially when you've got a passage of a cold punch or a trough coming through. Right, there will be ch it changes it a lot. Victor, you can sandwich is terminated. G'day. G'day. Yeah, that DI moves around a fair bit. It does. Alright, what should we see at time 4 or 5? Good question. Alright, um, well there's a big highway that we should have crossed. Uh, there is a smaller road going this direction uh, through Penrose. Um, there should be the big Shoalhaven River up uh, forward and to the left. Um, sorry. Uh, should see Moss Vale back into the left. So big one would be River, Moss Vale, large road behind us. Smaller is the uh, left to right road into Penrose. And maybe some forks off, in, off to the right in Talong. Yeah, but you also see what you got here. Over here you got two lakes. One at an elevation, okay. one lower. So okay, we, we should be a beam the southern lakes. So okay. look at the distance. Can you see two lakes? Right now. Okay, hang on. Let me get myself back on course. Man, it's not easy to look at that map. You get the leans. Kilo Alpha Oscar, contact CD Center okay. 124 day five. G'day. Okay, so we're looking for a lake off in the distance. I assume it's that one. There's another one there. Have a look. Uh, yep. So that's the south one, that's the north one. Other yeah. way around. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's the forward one, that's the bad, that one. Yeah. yeah, we should be a beam that lake when we're at our office. Okay, I see, I see, yep. Yeah, we're going south, I see what you mean, yep. Oh, there's a highway, there's a big truck on it. Oh, a couple of big trucks on it. The, yeah, that's the large highway there, okay. Oh, so we're getting close to our target area. Yep. We can do fuel a couple minutes early, or just wait? Yeah, you can do it now if you want. Right. Uh, remaining, sorry, 8-0. Coming in the Murray area, Yankee Valor Alpha, four minutes to a parachute drop, level one four zero. 8 zero, 40 Eight minutes. Yankee, Bravo, Alpha, some traffic for your planning. I've got uh, Apollo 26 on the way. They're inbound from the north to over 5. So they'll be at 8,000 and overhead Maria at 1,4. Yankee, Bravo, Alpha, cheers. Okay, what time we got? 4-3. We're about a minute away, so we should be pretty close to our target area. All right, well, we're not quite a beam that lake yet, um, but uh, we've passed that big highway, so we should expect the smaller one Passing through, I guess that's this one that's under the nose now. Which means, I would guess that's Penrose. We expect a fork in that road to be to the east in uh, Talong with, uh, with uh, Wing Gelo between them. So... There's a body of water there, is that on the map? No. There's a... Uh, Canyon there, which forks. So that one should be. Ah, this must be Penrose underneath us then. What's 
that one then. That one must be uh, Fontenoot. Is Fontenoot bigger than Penrose? It is. There you go. Okay, so are we right over Penrose now then? We are. You agree? Okay. So we're over Penrose at 4 4, that's pretty good. Oh. Alright, taking over. Yes, we're so close to the Monaro control zone. Yep, please. So we want to go from here to Toralga. Toralga. Where the hell is Toralga? There it is. There you go. That's Penrose. Okay, cool. Yep. Not bad, it's a little shit all. I lost one of my pencils. Alright, uh, I lost Toralga. Toralga. Alright, that's much shorter. Yeah. That is 10, 10, 20, 26, 26 miles. Around uh, 26. Uh, Alright, now, um, would you say this angle is about 35 degrees? Oh, no, that's not the angle I want. I want the angle with north, I'm sorry. Okay, call that, I don't know, 40 degrees from north. So, uh, should be 320 minus 13. 310? Okay, we'll go with that. All right. Halfway point, uh, 12 and a half miles. Not very long, is it? Huh. About there, and, okay. Uh, 26 miles divided, uh, sorry, 26 miles should be 13 minutes. At Lolly, your identification so, six and a half, seven minutes. Data link and monitor HF. Um, Primary one, three, two, six, one. Actual time of departure was four, four. Now we haven't departed yet. Oh, we haven't departed yet. No. Okay. Uh, position, Lolly, um, continue on data. Yep, we're done. Yep, we're done. And, uh, we can't do it until we've left. And frequency, what frequency have we got to use? Yes. Uh, this is a BTC. You, have you still got my VNC over there? There you go. Alright, where the hell are we? <laughs> Brisbane. Alright, um... Penrose is here. We're going to Turalga, which is, uh... 6718, let's go. Toralga. It's there. Where was it, sorry? Toralga. Wind farm, sorry. Uh, and, uh, man, I lost Penrose now. I need to circle it. Uh, Over here near Bundanoon. Say there, Penrose. Bundanoon, Penrose. All right. So, uh, we are going to cross this boundary into the same one we were on before, 124.1. Oh, oh shit, we're still on 124.1, we never changed, that's the problem. So, this was, uh... Ten rows. We should be on 121.2 right now, but we're not. I will fix that. We should be on 124.1, I don't know, halfway. You put 1222 on there. 121.2. There we go. 124.1. Alright, so 124.1, halfway. So we should be at odd, odd fives, and is there, well we're not going to make it up to any of those. So seven five should be fine, right? Uh, maybe that's too high. We're going five five. west. Oh, west should be, damn it, even five, so six five. Yeah. Alright, here we are at Penrose. Okay. Alright, so you can do your departure. Alright, we're over Penrose now? Yep. Alright, we decided three one. We are at about 2-3 now, I'll fix that. Okay. Got it. Shit. 
control. I bet it's pampered though. No? Probably got a bug. <laughs> So we made it to this one on time on target. Yeah. The other one wasn't too far off, but we're on time. I didn't check what time we departed. Call that one minute, so four nine. Four nine. All right. So four nine plus one three. Four, um, yeah, four nine plus one three. ETA one should be uh, O two. This one's going to be hurried, isn't it? All right. Yep. That's the log engine. I'm going to. Uh, Full rich, green, green, green. I'm going to descend to 4.5, you think, or ascend to 6.5? Six, 6.5. Five. Six, five. Six, five, all right. Radio. At the halfway point, we'll switch. Um, orientation. Uh, well, we should be crossing that big uh, highway. We should expect uh, Goldburn off to our left, Mossvale back into the right. Um, big highway we just crossed. Maybe that's Goldburn, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe there's something else I can use. Well, all the water should be off to the right, and it is. Okay. Um, Future time, come on, full power. Uh, future time plus seven is uh, actual time, four, nine, five, six. And fuel we've done. It is now five, two. Alright, so we accelerate before we lean, right? Yeah. few seconds. Yeah. Never actually done this before properly. And I don't know. Give it that. So soon we're going to have to read the map. Uh, better get back on my heading. What do we expect? There's a radio tower off to the left. Um, 
uh, this this road feature with a loop. Um, there's a bend in the river there, 180 degrees, like a little bubble in the river. So, um, the loop in the road and the radio transmitter. Oh, those are power lines. And again, Victor Echo Hotel is on descent, Goldberg. Echo Hotel, Melbourne Centre, G'day, the Q&H is on 026. On 026, Victor Echo Hotel. Okay. Another road going off that way. That should be that one. Uh, and the River Forks. The River Forking, I think, is under the nose. Have a look. Am I wrong? There's the river forking. Yeah. All right. River forking is over there. Uh. So the radio transmitter ought to be like under us. Over here somewhere. Um. Where are those roads though? I guess it's those ones, or that's one of them anyway. Gonna... Yeah, uh, I'm a bit lost. Like, I see the river forking, but I'm having trouble making anything else match up. Okay, what should we see? We should see basically uh, a, a beam. It should be a big river, the Wool and Dilly. We should be past high range, and we should be having a road underneath us. Underneath us. Oh, no, no, that's the wrong one. Yeah, it's, it's here, yeah. I'm sorry. No worries. We have a power line too. Power line? There's, a, there's a river and a power line to the power line? Uh, oh, is that a power line? Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Well, we did see the power lines are here. Alright. Yep. So, yeah. So, yeah. See the river there? It does a 180. And the power line crosses it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can see it. The tree? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's that? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, we are a little bit beyond that. So we are maybe here? Yeah, we're a bit north of that, so we're probably, I'd say, at the moment, we're about three miles north. We should be a bit closer. So we're a bit north. Okay. Um, okay. There's a substation. Yeah. I think that was on the map. Yeah. Uh, station calling on 12075, broken and readable. Well, that's uh, south, if that's the substation. Can you see it down there? Yeah, I see that. Melbourne Center, Foxtrot Tango, Oscar, maintaining 6000. I'm not on my course anymore. I'm like heading. 1026 Fox Tortana Oscar. Okay, I'm going to say that's the substation. Uh, let me check the roads near it. Um, substation, yeah, there's two roads converging there. Yeah, that's got to be that substation. So I should probably pinpoint that, hey. Yep. Alright. Um, that is 57. Uh, substation. Oh, they're like right over it. Five, seven. So that's like a mile off track, but we're not even to the halfway point yet. Can that be right? Also, I'm not on my heading anymore. You've just been pointed yourself. I'm sorry? We're up here. You reckon? Yeah. So that's not the substation on the map here? Uh. Okay. So where do you think we are? We're up here, we're near the Wall and Dilly River. Yeah. And there's a big junction of rivers there, and if you drop your wing, there's a road. Okay. So the conjunction of rivers you're talking about is this one? Yeah. Okay. And there's the power line. There's, that's where your substation is. Oh, okay, it'll be that substation. Yeah. Alright, that was at 5-7. Yeah, so All right. now put your pencil on it, how many miles are we off track? Pretty far. Uh, about five. Okay, five in how long? Uh, well, five... It's more than halfway. Yeah, 30. Either, call it 15. Uh, 30, okay, call it 15. So five and 15 is 20 and 60. So 20 degrees plus another... So 30 degrees, we're pretty far off. Yeah. Okay, so 30 degrees to the left. Am I right? 2-8. Hey. I think 
my DI is lying to me right now too. Yeah, because this is a half white point, it's actually 40 degrees, go 40. Oh yeah, oh yeah, sorry, you're right, okay, 2-7. 2 seven. Seven, if you got a third, you add 50%. Yep, I knew that. Alright. So you did the time that time, didn't you? Yeah, Good. I did. When you've got big corrections like this, the, it tends to have inaccuracies in it. Yeah. Okay. So that's a compass. Uh, fog is a mess, but uh, I think I've got everything on there. We need to switch. Um, but I know this, I'm now I'm early. Um, Engine temperature suppressors are good, that looks good. Uh, altitude, I am at 6.5, but I need to, nope, that's still good. Um, radio, got it done. Orientation, so again, we expect uh, big water is to our right, and it is. Uh, there's, where are those on here? I did this in the opposite order, but anyway, uh, here are the wind farms, wind farms, they are off to the left. time for fuel, fuel yet. What time are we going to be at Duralga? Yeah, future time I'm working on. Hang on a moment. All right, well, we were there at 5.7, um, but we were beyond the halfway point, um, so I'm not sure how to correct that. Maybe, how many maybe miles we were beyond it? Put your pencil on it. Oh, I see. About five miles, maybe uh, four, let's say four miles. Two minutes. So two minutes, so we were actually, in, we were actually early. Um, if you subtract two minutes, that would be 55. We're one minute early, so it should be two minutes early. Okay, uh, so ETA 02 should be 00. But we are past that already, so that can't be right. Yeah. Well, unless we've gone past it. Okay, so now we start map reading then, I guess. Um, well, we should be pretty close to Doralga. Yeah. Can you see a town? Uh, do I? I see lots of roads converging on, oh, I'm trying to do this first, right? There should be lots of roads converging on the map. Uh, wind farms forward to the left. Uh, also a river crossing, two of the roads, and power lines that direction. So, um, those may be the power lines. Uh, where are all the roads converging? I mean, there's a town over there, is that the one you mean? That's beyond the wind farms, though. So that shouldn't be it. Um, there's a whole bunch of power lines. Station Asset and Information India current. I mean, I guess that could be it. Maybe I'm looking at the wind farms that are beyond. Is that Taralga? It looks too big. Okay. Uh, well, I will turn to a Turalga then. There's wind farms on on the map yet. Yeah. Seems that way. Well, there's all the roads converging in the power lines. Yeah, that must be it. So, don't mistake uh, um, wind farms, because there's plenty there. There's some down yeah, over there are in the far distance. In the distance, hey, yeah. So, okay, careful. fair enough, yeah. On time, Turak was the only place in this area. Yeah, yeah, we shouldn't we shouldn't be nearly that far off, yeah. yeah. And and also we were to the right, not to the left. So yeah, okay. And again, you gotta give yourself three reasons why we're calling that Turalga. Okay. So when so, we get there you should see quite a few features on the map in terms of roads. Yeah. Alright, which way are we headed right now? Two zero. that way. Alright, so there's no wind farms on the map yet, but uh, there should be a high point, uh, like to the left, there should be um, several roads coming in, uh, 
one, two, three, like that, with a bridging thing between, there should be power lines beyond it. So, uh, I assume that's the high point there. Um, three roads with a bridging bit between them, that's probably the bridging road. Let's see. Brookwell should be forward and to the right. Golden Sandwich is terminated. I see those power lines beyond it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's that uh, road that bridges the other two. Here. And it comes out, it, uh, that road goes to another major road that comes into town. And what about the river? Which river do you see? So you down there, the creek? The road oh, yeah, the creek, okay. there and there. Yeah, okay, thank you. Alright, so, uh, yep, there is a creek where we expect, given that uh, bridging road there. And it is on the right relative bit compared to Tualga. Um, the pond over there, but that's probably not on the map. There is a dam further out, which I'm not sure I see. Alright, well we saw the creek, we saw the bridging road, we saw the road into town, so I'm going to call that three. Okay, right. so I'll turn and go back over to Alga again. Where are we going next? Uh, we're going back home, so back to 2RN. Okay. Are we right over it now already? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I just want to level off and plan, right, and then turn back around, hey? Yeah. Okay. Do it at your own discretion. Maybe let's head uh, northeast. Oh, actually, that doesn't matter because we're going to go back, aren't we? Okay. Sorry. I'll level up here. All right, 2RN is this trans. It's this transmitter here, isn't it? Yeah. Why does it want to go right? What am I doing? All right. Um. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty miles from Toralga. So we want uh, one third. 20, 40, okay, 60 miles from Taralga. To R N, 60 miles. I'm going to turn around back for Taralga while I figure out the rest of it. here, we are going to Sydney, so, um, going east, we want odds, 7-5 will be fine until there, so we can say, um, I don't know, uh, at the one-third point we'll descend to 5-5 uh, to be well under the 7-5 limit, 
and then once we're uh, closer to Camden, we should know, we should be able to descend to uh, below four five. We'll just, we'll just go 5-5. We'll just, just go 5-5 the whole way? 5-5 right. the whole way, all right. And then uh, from Taralga, about halfway, we want to switch to Sydney Center. Yeah. All right. All right, so A055, uh, 124, decimal 5, 5 at one half. Cue that up. Okay, um, the heading. Nope. All right, maybe 30 degrees that way from uh, 90 to 60. I always uh, underestimate. Not sure if I should correct for that. I'm gonna say um, 0 5 0 5 0, zero, six zero. That's Fair enough, yeah. All right, I'll say zero six zero. See how we go. All right, where has Turalga gone? There it is. All right, get back over it again. I'm gonna descend to five five while we're at it. No, you don't. No, don't do that. Level. You gotta do a compass check. Ah, yes. Okay. Thank you. Remember, the protocol starts at C. Yeah. Well, I figure we haven't started the protocol yet, but maybe we won't have time to descend. That's right. Do it on route. You use the, the height for your advantage. Okay. Chelsea 1089, the contact center 125, station more zero. You expect star clearance. Good day. 150, Chelsea 1089. Tom, are you heading here? Yep, thank you. 060. That mud patch in your two o'clock used to be the lake. Oh, the dam, that's where the dam was? Yeah. I see. Or is. Right, okay, that actually makes sense. All right, the roads are converging under me, so I'm about over Toralga. The time is uh, one, 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 two. I'm gonna turn. Zero, six, zero. Mr. Whiskey, just request an optional normal time. It is now faded from radar. Uh, Mr. Whiskey, uh, we'll report optional on the hour. Mr. Whiskey, copy call again, 0100. This turn coordinator doesn't work anymore, does it? No, it doesn't want to. You broke it. Sorry? You broke it. No, it's been broken my last several flights in this one. I mean, maybe I broke it a while ago. I think the TI is lying to me, yeah. About six. Six. Six, all right, perfect. <laughs> all right, now. Uh, the log, I've logged 1, 2 is my actual time of departure, ETA 1 should be, oh, so the time is uh, 30 minutes, 10, ETA 1 should be uh, 4, 2. Uh, engine, I'm going to Rich, we're descending to 5, 5 we said. Yep. yep. Radio, we're not changing yet. I just suppose I should check the orientation now. Uh, we expect to be heading toward the big water, slightly off to the left. Um, big highway converging on Sydney, that side. Uh, Melbourne Centre, Tango, Romeo, the path. Big water should be over there. Uh, I'm not sure about the big highway, maybe that's too far away. Um, be crossing a river soon, conjunction of several rivers and a smaller road. That is a lake, we're heading towards a lake. Yeah, heading towards, um, okay, that's the lake, yeah, okay, fine, fair enough. Tango Romeo Papa, just stand by one. Tango Red Papa, stand by. Tango Romeo Papa, 
Tango Romeo for pass, Squawk 1467. There's no reported IFR traffic. Uh, 1467 and copy no traffic. Tango Romeo for pass. Right now you can lean it off. Verify traffic 4,600 yeah. okay. o'clock at uh, 2.5 miles, they're tracking the same direction, intentions unknown.